Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Uh, I'm actually in the Players uh, Hotel lobby. We've come over here to meet some more fans. Make sure you check out those fan cams that we've just done. Anyway, more importantly, it was a one-all draw over at the Stade Louis de against a good Monaco team, I have to say. They have some good players in there. They had uh, Contrao, who played really well, uh, and Jeremy Toulalon, whose name I got wrong in the pre-match uh, pre live team news chat, but I know who he is. Don't you worry about that. Anyway, in terms of Spurs, I thought it was a good performance, I have to say. Uh, these games aren't easy. Obviously, there's a lot of um, thinking about not getting injured for the weekend, especially because Mopo put out a strong team. So I thought it was a really good balance between working hard, getting a result, and making sure your legs aren't too tired for the Sunday trip to Swansea. I'm going to go through the team. I thought Hugo did well. Uh, he spilled it a couple of times. Um, I felt for him in, with the goal, actually, because when the cross came in, and Monaco did look dangerous all day from crosses, uh, uh, El Shwari got the header in, and I think Hugo was expecting the ball to come quicker than it was so in the end he was almost leaning back when it got to him and he tried to kick it away it didn't happen I don't blame him for him I felt for him a little bit on it Kieran Trippier right back thought he had an excellent game today he got to show almost for the first time for Spurs on numerous occasions what a great crosser of the ball he is now as fans and as the manager but I think we'll talk about it more as fans you know is that enough to get him in the team against uh, instead of Kyle Walker? What I would say is Kyle Walker gives us an option defensively in terms of uh, his pace. Uh, I don't think he's a natural defender, Kyle Walker, but I think in terms of recovering and getting us out of situations on the, Blake, on the break, that's probably what's keeping him in the team ahead of Kieran Trippier today. But Trippier defensively was excellent today, and I think, like I said, the crosses were great. Toby and Jan, I'm not going to say too much. They were excellent. Again, the ball was just almost attached to Toby Alderweireld's head all day. Danny Rose had a great game. He's pushing Ben Davis all the way. Really interesting to know why he's not getting in the, in the team ahead of Ben Davis. I think Ben Davis is doing well. Is it a teamwork thing? I don't know. I heard on the Fighting Cock pod podcast earlier on them discuss that maybe Ben Davis works better in the kind of triangles and as a team ahead of Danny Rose, even though maybe Rose is a more talented fullback. It's an interesting point of view. They could be right. Um, uh, Eric Dyer and Deli Ali just ahead of the back four. I thought once again they're making a brilliant, brilliant partnership. Played really well. Really happy with those guys. Obviously, uh, Deli Ali was called up to the England squad today, and I don't think it'll be long before Eric Dyer follows him in. Eric Lamella got his goal. Good for his confidence. Thought he played well. Lost the ball a few times, but he looks more confident. He's doing the easy things a lot more than he was earlier in the season. Christian Eriksen did okay getting back to match fitness. Had a few free kicks. Made the keeper work once, as I remember it. Look, looks good on the ball, as usual, but we need him to start scoring those goals again. Nasser Chadley, I have to say, had a bit of a slow one. But, you know, I'm not going to criticise. I thought it was a good result. Harry Kane... You know, does the, does the hard work, uh, doesn't he? You know, runs the channels, works really hard, holds the ball up. I'm not going to have a go at him. And then in terms of subs, Clinton and G came on, thinks he, thought he looked bright. Andros Townsend came on, didn't really have much chance to prove himself. Anyway, so that's me at my 1 2 11, gone through the team. Like I said, one all draw, good result for us tonight. Carabag turned over and elect in the other game. So now we're top of the group, we're looking good. Let's go forward in the Europa League. Let's try and win it this year, shall we? And then in terms of Sunday, Swansea away. Interesting game. I'll be there. Let us know if you're going to be there. Let us know what you thought of my match review in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Come on, you Spurs.